Creatine and magnesium. I start my day like this every day, guys. Every single day. Ah. Shout out to Dallas Prep Kitchen. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, this is a great meal prep company. Be sure to follow them on Instagram at Dallas Prep Kitchen. Use 15% off code DPK15. If you're interested, man. Very convenient to have prepped meals, man. Let's get it. All right, guys. So there it is. Chicken, sweet potato, and a little zucchini. I'm going to eat this, man. And then me and my brother got to run some errands. Uh, it's Friday, so it's not too much of a busy day, but I do got a client in town. Plus, this, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this guy. He's a already Hall of Famer, Fabian. Bam! There it is, guys. He got a year of coaching with me, a full year, and as you see, the investment paid off. You know, he did what the fuck he's supposed to do and got shit done. Uh, he's actually coming in town today, um, and we're going to record a workout. And a video, I want to talk to you guys about diet breaks. Nobody, We've talked about reverse dieting, but we have not talked about diet breaks. So be looking out for that diet break video. Very important shit, especially if you got like 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 fucking pounds to lose. Do you honestly think you're going to be able to just drop that straight with no break? You know what I mean? Like, like, like I've discussed in the past about reverse dieting, you have metabolic adaptations. So, like I said, be looking out for that video. I want to help you guys out. Be sure to give your boy a like because it helps me grow the channel. And since I'm helping you, help your boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and eat my food. And we're going to get up out of here. Hold on, take a bite real quick. Look at that. Y'all see that shit? Sweet potato. Got that chicken locked up in there. Look at that. Oh. John Silvers, man. Fun fact, this is one of my favorite fast food joints. Some people like McDonald's, Jack in the Box. I love Long John Silvers, especially the coleslaw. I'm a big coleslaw guy. <laughs> what if I eat coleslaw? As you see, Chicken, shrimp, hush puppies, all of that. And I got two extra pieces of fish on the side. Don't be jealous. <laughs> all right, homies at home, man. So I'm about to head to the gym, train my, uh, well, meet up with my client, record a little content for you guys. Before I do, I wanted to address something, guys. My boy, Matt August, August Cake, Legends of Aesthetics. He called me out to do a natural bodybuilding show. And this is so nostalgic, guys, because I'm not going to get into the whole backstory, but way back in 2012, we were supposed to do a show against each other. And long story short, when I'm making a bunch of excuses, I didn't keep my word. I ended up quitting. And honestly, that shit haunts me to this day. Now, I'm not going to lie and say I can't get my dick hard because I'm so stressed out from quitting the fucking bodybuilding show. But yes, from time to time, I think about that shit and it just rubs me the wrong way. And it will, it will it will mean the world to me to to do that for my supporters and to redeem myself to, to go and compete against my Ocus. Yeah, keep one thing in mind, guys. I hurt my back really bad back in 2018. And my legs haven't been the same since because I wasn't able to squat for a full year. I'm noticing they're coming back. Like the, the fullness is coming back. I actually competed. <clears throat> I actually competed last year 
and I still looked good even though my legs were a little downsized. I want to compete at my best. So with that said, I'm going to bulk hard. I'm going to keep training hard. And I will have an answer for you guys fucking in the March. Late, because I plan to start cutting April. I will have a for sure answer for you guys late March if I'm going to compete against Matt Ogas or not. I'm going to cut down anyway. And I plan on doing a show anyway. But you got to keep in mind, Matt Ogas, guys, very experienced. That's the word. Very experienced. I've only done one show. So I want to bring my best before I say, yes, guys, I'm going to start cutting and go against Matt. I want to be able to look you guys in the face and say, yes, bring it. I'm going to compete against Matt. But I can't give you an answer yet until I finish my bulk. Let me finish my bulk, and I will give you guys a for sure answer. How many of you guys will be tuning in if me and Matt decide to compete against each other? You know, I'm going to be posting weekly updates, probably a little shit talking, friendly shit talking, and I think it'll be fun. But honestly, guys, I got to come my best. And right now, this is the time to build. I'm focusing on my bulk right now. I don't need any distractions. I don't need any voices in my head. I want to focus my next couple months on my bulk, eating and growing. Worry about the outside stress later. But y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. And what do you think, Jonathan? Me and my brother were just talking about this. What do you think, Jonathan? Man, you better not quit. I know that. He said, see, my brother was very disappointed in me <laughs> when I quit. And uh, I definitely want to make that to my brother, too. My brother, tell him what you just told me to call. Keep it, keep it real. Man, like, <coughs> I always tell you, man, um, you know, dad dad uh, came in the living room. He was like, yo, man, you know, Chris quit. Yeah. And when you when you out here and you're mentoring people, yeah. it's and you show them that you quit, then it's uh then basically they gonna look at it like it's okay to quit. Yeah. Especially now that you're a dad, yeah. you have a daughter, yeah. and if, if she see you quit, then she gonna think it's okay. And you don't wanna ever set that example to your kids. Quitting when times get hard is one of the worst things you can do. When times get hard, that really shows what you're made of and I, I like I said, this shit haunts me to this day. Hump chasers. Only the strong survive in here. Come on in. So I was trying to that camera and shit. What's going on here? I was trying to make that thing work, but. Going down. Oh, shit. Oh, is your little dog? She think it's Bruno. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look. See? Hold this. Here, see? Hold that. There you go. See? Yeah. Take it for a walk. There you go, Brookie. <laughs> they hot pump chasers. <laughs> mm. Right, guys, so check it out. It's my client right here, Fabian, man. Man, I'm about to require. So, what time where you from? How old you are, man? I'm from, uh, well, I live in Midland, but I'm from El Paso, Texas. I'm 26 years old, and I work on the oil field. Yes, sir. And we're about to do some content for you guys right now. I'm about to do a little video talking about diet breaks and all that type of shit. Give a little backstory, you know, how he got out of shape in the first place, all that crap. And then we're going to work out. We'll work out tomorrow too, right? Yes. So be looking out for that, guys. Oh, and I, of course, you know when I do workout videos, I mix a little bit of raw commentary. So you're going to see some good tips that you might not know. So just stay tuned for all that, man. So we're about to do some work. Y'all stay tuned. Now with a split machine, guys, I personally... You can do what you want, touch your chest, whatever you want to do. I feel it's best to stop right before you touch and then go up under full control, really engage the muscles, then back down. Because if you, if you notice, guys, when you're doing free weights, right, on a bench, it's not a straight up and down motion. You start here, and then it's kind of like that. Watch somebody bench from the side. You come down like this, and then you come up. You know what I mean? So. A Smith machine, it just comes straight up and down. So it's not the natural uh, range of motion you get with from free weights. I feel like trying to touch your chest on a Smith machine can potentially hurt your shoulders in the long run, especially if you got really long arms. So look at his arms. His arms are relatively long for his body. 
All right, so I feel like it's best, since you're not going in the natural range of motion anyway, stop right, right before you touch your chest. That way you, 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 keep, you, keep, you prevent anterior tilting, you prevent shoulder pain, and then stop up, full control. Nothing, no jerking, no swinging. Stop up, stop up, full tension on the upper chest. All right, same with squats, guys. People, squatting is not a straight up and down motion. It's, a, it's, a, it's an angle, you know? The bar path is on your mid foot. So if you're squatting on a Smith machine, don't go ass to grass. You're gonna potentially hurt your knees. If you're squatting on a Smith machine, keep it parallel and up. Only go ass to grass if you're squatting free weighting. Only touch your chest if you're, if you're bench pressing free weighting. But look, do the fuck y'all wanna do. I'm trying to help y'all out. Let's go. <laughs> There you go, bam. Come on. My right there. Come on, look right there. And then go back up. Bam. Okay. Next 30 seconds. Get your mind right. Now, these last two sets is where that money come in, man. There it is. Bush, I'm right here with you. You breathe. Two. Come on. Come on. There you go. Classic pose. It's a classic, man. So either do this or weighted dips. I don't like the barbell uh, decline bench. Barbell decline bench is like this much motion. You'll get the lower chest benefits for sure with a decline barbell bench but you most certainly won't get the outer. Okay, so if you want the outer benefits, you want the lower nipple area benefits. All right, time to eat. Spring Creek barbecue. All oh, juicy. Look at all that juicy meat. Ugh. All right, homies and home mess post-workout meal, cause shit just got real. Y'all see how we do it. We're gonna eat this right here. We're gonna go out later on. You feel me? Nobody gotta follow me on Instagram. I'm not even taking y'all there, okay? You gotta follow me on Instagram, alright? Got yeah, my boy in town. What's the food? We're enjoying ourselves. No low carbs today. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves today. <laughs> alright, don't be jealous. Bruno! Hey boy! Here you go, Bruno. There you go. Alright, homies at home met, so check it out. I gotta edit the chest workout video we just did. I gotta edit the interview video talking about diet breaks. And I gotta edit this vlog right here. So I'm gonna end this video now. That way I can take out the memory card and get to work. But I'm gonna eat again later. Right now it's early, it's only like eight o'clock. And I'm gonna eat again at about 10.30. So check it out, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do two scoops of mass for the ass, mass gainer. Get Pump Chaser Sups at tigerfitness.com. Link is in the description, guys. And I appreciate everybody supporting the brand. We are growing tremendously. Thanks to all the people out there supporting. Two scoops of this is 26 grams of protein and 60 grams of carbs. Good carbs, not just a whole bunch of sugar and shit like that. And I'm gonna do one more clean meal. Chicken, sweet potato, and zucchini. All thanks to Dallas Prep Kitchen. And that's it, guys. And to be 100% honest with you, I'm looking forward to cutting. I can't wait till fucking late uh, March, early April come because I don't mind being a little heavy. I don't mind being a little fat, but I'm just tired of fucking eating, guys. If I go like a few days and I'm not on top of my meals, my weight drops. And I'm trying to stay above 210. Keep my strength up. That way I can build up any lost mass that I may have lost when I got hurt back then. So, so far so good. Everything's going great. All my strength is good. I'm getting all my numbers back up. So, so far so good. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video right here. Don't forget to go to pumpchasers.com, support the new clothes. We got some stuff in clearance for you. Get all that stuff in clearance, you know what I mean? And we'll see you at the next video.
Don't forget to like my video, like my shit. Comment, subscribe, holla back at your boy.